Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a sneak peek of Archer and Olive's winter collection. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Tracy and I am a girl with plans. So I received these three items from Archer and Olive. They were so kind to send me these sneak peeks of the upcoming winter release with you guys. The winter collection releases on Friday, November the 8th. I will have all of the release details as well as my affiliate link down in the description box. And always remember, you can use my discount code AGWP to save 10% off of almost everything on their site. The only exclusions are the subscription box and if they have any special like mystery bundles or anything like that, but it also works on their sale bin items. So I definitely keep that in mind. And I really appreciate it if you would consider shopping through my affiliate links. All right, y'all. Shall we get started? Now, I did take off all of the wrapping because I didn't really want to have to heavily edit this video and taking it all off beforehand saves me some time, but I have not looked at anything. And from what I can tell, this is the Northern Lights washi set. This is the Northern Lights sticker set. And this is Winterscapes 2024. So this does have the same um, like icon image that's on this. I don't want to like flip the washi over. I'm trying to be surprised. So this might all be the same kind of Northern Lights um, theme. We know the stickers and the washi is, but we'll see if the book is. Um, I know that I have seen two other reveals on Archer and Olive's Instagram page. I have not seen a Northern Lights reveal, but I've seen one with a penguin, which is super cute. It was like a purple, but like more of like an eggplant purple, super cute. And then there was more of, I would say kind of almost holiday vibes, but it wasn't like, it was just in the color scheme, but it was like deer and things like that. And it was red and green. So those are the two I've seen. I don't think I've seen this one unless I misunderstood what some of the other titles were. Okay, yeah, definitely haven't seen this one. And this is totally my vibes. Totally my vibes. I am all about some scenery, some skyscapes, and all the fun stuff like that. Um, love it, love it, love it. I love creating scenes in my planners. So, Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, I'm just unrolling. <laughs> We're just getting right to it. So here we go here. Now this, the, this washi actually looks more like a dark or like a smoke gray background with, you have the deer, the stars, and the trees with the little, I guess that's supposed to be like mountains or maybe just designs, but it's really, really cool because I will say it's like semi-foil <laughs> because it's not like as popping as like your regular foil, which is really bad for the camera, um, especially when you're trying to film videos or take photos. I really like this like foil type. It's like it has a foil look without being super, super reflective. That is so pretty. I'm really liking that. Okay, let me stop talking about how much I like that one and let's go look at the other one. So this does, I guess this is like the Northern Lights. And so we have the Northern Lights sky, I guess. <laughs> there we go. I'll um, put this one on paper so you can kind of see that. So it's more of like the purple to maybe the greenish gray look there. And then it kind of repeats after that with your kind of bright blue stars. This is so pretty. This will be so pretty at the bottom of either your planner page or your journal page. I'm just, I'm loving this. Okay, let me um roll this back up because I am not trying to waste my washi. <laughs> Although there's a lot of washi on this roll. Look how thick that roll is. And if you've never used Archer and Olive washi, it, it is, it does feel a lot different than other ones. I don't know how to explain it. It feels not necessarily thick, Thicker, but it does feel like it will be harder to rip, but it's not. Um, but that's what it feels like. Almost like the finish on the outside feels a little different. And I'm going to go with this one next because this one actually complements this well. It's just the sky version of this. So like this can go at the bottom and then this can go at the top of your page. And then again, it's your skyscape with the electric blue 
stars. That's what I'm going to call it. Electric blue. Now, if they are going to release some calligraphs and these colors, y'all, I might have to make a purchase come Friday. I have to see what else because like these colors are just everything to me. I love everything about this color palette. And this is absolutely gorgeous. This is more of like a realistic kind of scene here. You have your snow, snowy mountains. You have your snowflakes and then your trees. Super, super pretty. This is like great washi to like put on a page when you're just like on a functional page when you want to add a little bit but you don't have a room to add a lot. All right, we'll see if this kind of just chills there or what happens. All right, so let's open up this. I did cut the seal, but I have not peeked. This is Northern Lights. Okay, yes, it is. It has that same aesthetic. Now this is true foil. So you can see, and you get two identical pages, um, but you can see how you have the deer that's foiled. You have some of the trees that are foiled. And then your stars are foiled. So pretty there. Super, super pretty. Oh, I guess we'll keep this out so that way <laughs> you can see what they look like. Don't put it up, Tracy. Goodness. All right. And now here we go. So again, I have no idea what this journal is. I don't know if it's part of the Northern Lights. Like I said, it does have this design right here. So I'm super excited. This might be one I have not seen a sneak peek of. Okay, drum roll, please. The only thing I know is it's an eight by eight, which is my favorite size journal. I don't have that many of them. It is a different one that I haven't seen and I am loving it, y'all. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Let me turn over the box so I can read the specs to you. But this is gorgeous. So this is vegan leather. Again, it's eight by eight. One of their more popular size on Archer and Olive. There aren't that many companies. I don't know of any that sells eight by eight, but it's a really fun size to work with. So yeah, look at that with the foil. So this one does have just a plain spine, but that foil is so pretty. All right, y'all. Let's see what the inside cover looks like. Let's read it. You ready? Wow, that's really pretty. That's really different for them too. Because it's like, it's not like all over. I really like it. You can actually put stickers here or you can put some of your washi down here. I can put my washi down here, guys. <laughs> that would look really pretty actually. So pretty. So stars, snowflakes, everything, and that foil there. Looks like the page got a little bent. Oh, well. It's going to get bent when I write on it anyway. And then, of course, dot grid. I think they had, like, lined ones at one point. I haven't seen them much. I'm not a fan of the lined ones. I have one, um, but I think I got that, like, on a Black Friday sale. Really cheap. And then you have your two navy ribbon bookmarks. There we go. And then your pocket. Now, this is 160 pages, which I believe is standard for your 8x8 notebooks. And it is 160 G just GSM, which again is standard for your Archer and Olive notebooks. This is absolutely gorgeous. This, I mean, the pink one was super cute, but this one may be my favorite anyway. I'm so glad I have it. All right, guys. So there we go. This is the Northern Lights little set from the upcoming winter collection from Archer and Olive. Again, everything releases on Friday, November the 8th. I will have all of the information and my affiliate link down in the description box. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please press that like button. And if you have yet to subscribe, I hope you would consider subscribing because in addition to playing with stickers and trying my hand at functional planning and decorating bullet journals, I also like to share unboxing and haul videos. <laughs> so if that's your thing, definitely hit that like button. All right, guys, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time, bye.